Hello, so my name is Mrs Chinton and I'm going to be demonstrating one of the required practicals to do with rates of reaction. Now you need to know two different practicals for rates of reaction and this first one involves two chemicals. We're going to be using hydrochloric acid and um, we're going to be using sodium thiosulfate and this is known as a disappearing cross reaction and the reason that we can use a disappearing cross is because when we mix these two chemicals together and they react from two colourless liquids, one of the products that we make is actually a yellow solid. So as the yellow solid forms, it will gradually um, become opaque in solution and will lose vision of the cross. So we need a white tile in order, oh, yeah, that is coming on, isn't it, yeah. A white tile, just to allow us to be able to see any colour changes more easily. We've got a pre-printed cross. Now, when you're doing this, it's important that you use the same cross for all of your experiments so that you are uh, not putting an extra variable in there that might um, change how quickly it appears that the cross has disappeared. We're going to use a conical flask, which we stand clearly over the cross. I'm going to start off with, and I'm just going to add um, 10 mils of um, the hydrochloric acid to my cross, and I can still see that um, clearly underneath the um, conical flask. I'm then going to add um, 50 mils approximately of the sodium thiosulfate. Now this first time the sodium thiosulfate is 0.5 molar sodium thiosulfate. So these are going to add and this is where it's useful to have a second person on hand but I'm going to try and start my timer myself as well. So as soon as these have um, actually gone into our conical flask and I start my timer. Watch now you can swirl it gently but you need to make sure you do that steadily with each one of your um, solutions that you make. Okay. And that one took 15 seconds for the solution to become opaque. So that's the sulfur being formed that is a solid. It's not soluble, so it's come out. So I'm just going to write 15 seconds down. And that was our 0 0.5 molar. Right, I'm going to repeat the experiment again. Okay, so now we're going to do it with a 0.25 molar solution and we're going to see what happens there. And again, because I swirled the first experiment, I'm going to need to do the same with the second experiment. And it is clouding. Okay, and you can actually see it is taking longer for this one to go, but we're still actually getting a reaction happening. No, I can still just to say see it through there, so I'll keep swirling. One bit more. And I would suggest we can't see the cross through that anymore. So that is uh, 55 seconds. And what we could do is we could keep repeating that with different concentrations of the sodium thiosulfate. And then eventually we would put our results on a graph to work out the rate of the reaction.